Hello, how are you doing? Um, this is uh, this is Paco from Melbourne, all right? And I'm going to give you a demonstration, if you look that closely, on how the iPod is from the inside. Now, the reason why I've done this is because the iPod, together with the iTunes, for some mysterious reason, it has uh, completely destroyed all my data and everything has been uh, deleted. All my music has been uh, disappeared for no apparent reason. So, um, I'm doing this video to demonstrate how the contents are from the inside. So any one of you that's got an iPod and wants to see how the iPod is from the inside, you can have a look at it. Um, I've destroyed the thing because uh, iTunes and iPod and the old Macintosh thing, it's not making my life any easier by simply um, rearranging uh, the files and changing the file formats of every single uh, song and audio file and they, it's I've had, it, I've had it for three years and I just I cannot stand it anymore I just decided to break it to see what's inside so um, you will see alright this is the hard drive it's a 20 gigabyte model and it's, yeah three years old it's a um, this is the hard drive in comparison with the iPod, right? It was like uh, there, something like this. All right, it came with this, just like that, and it's from Toshiba. If you can read that, there it is. It's a bit blurry. So Toshiba uh, hard drive is amazing small. Then uh, from the back, you can see the screen is still on. It's even lighting, all right. And this is the battery. The battery is here. It's very small. It says uh, this battery does not contain mercury, which is <laughs> quite funny. And if you see all the pieces in this side, it's quite complex. It's it's in, it's amazing how such a small thing has got so many um, like pieces and everything. It's, man, it's really cool. And this is the back, like, I've opened the thing with a hammer because I just wanted to distress myself opening the iPod. Here you can see, like, uh, you know, the lock and unlock on here. It's like, a, there's a, like a chip here. So, yeah, now I'm going to open this bit. I'm going to see what's in inside. So most likely it's going to stop eventually for that to keep leaking. So they give me a couple of seconds. Opening pieces around. It's a very interesting piece of hardware. It's such a pity that the software actually so didn't. Uh, uh, I'm very positive you're trying to like uh, stop people uh, stealing all this uh, stuff with uh, piracy and everything. But yeah. I think they should just stick their noses to their own business and let the people enjoy the music as they want. And let the piracy issues to be something evolved for other people. And that's it, you know. The battery is stuck up here. I might need to split this up a little bit too. I might actually need a screwdriver. The battery, it's really small. And I thought it would be bigger than I thought it. It does hardly take uh, one quarter of the size of the actually iPod. And I would be even amazed to see how an iPod Nano looks like on the inside. Okay. The battery, it's stuck up here. Was stuck with something. And um, it's only this small. So if you compare the iPod, very tiny battery. It's amazing how this thing can last 12 hours and with this it reads your hard drive and plays the music at the same time. 